I was born in Kiel in northern Germany and I have been drawing and painting as far back as I remember. To finance my artistic endeavors, I worked in a large motorcycle shop in Kiel, Germany. From that time forward, motorcycles and the open road let me eventually paint the large piece California Never Give Up in San Francisco, which tells my story, as quoted on the license plate above the door. While producing my own artwork, I began a career as a curator, organizing large-scale art exhibits. I opened my own gallery in Kiel, Germany, in support of local artists. Eventually, I would be managing 100 employees at Traumfabrik, a large cultural entertainment center in Kiel, Germany. On average, 2,000 people visited Traumfabrik on a Saturday night featuring a restaurant, book readings, live concerts, and film openings. And I was in charge of the entire operation. But despite the success, I had a strong desire to create art and resigned from my position. In June 1992, I arrived in San Francisco from Germany with one bag of belongings, not knowing the English language and a quest to discover. Shortly after I arrived in San Francisco, I purchased a motorcycle and took numerous road trips exploring California's diverse geography. I especially loved driving the breathtaking Pacific Coast Highway 1 to Big Sur. It was an exciting adventure exploring California on my motorcycle trips, holding on tightly to the handlebars, the open road stretching out in front of me towards the distant horizon. During that time, I hardly knew a soul. It was just me, my motorcycle, and the open road. Riding my fully packed motorcycle, I traveled to the School of Lost Borders in Big Pine, in the eastern Sierra Nevada where I would participate in a four days and four nights vision quest, alone in the Mojave Desert, without food and shelter, a tradition originating from the culture of the Native Americans. Embarking on a life-changing adventure, I knew that my life would never be the same. I slept on the ground, under the stars, Although I was afraid of being alone, of hunger, of darkness, of wild animals, snakes and scorpions, I wanted to learn more about myself and drew seven colorful abstract paintings. After four days and four nights alone fasting in the desert, I returned to base camp. This experience has burned deep into my heart and soul. I felt victorious and free to be myself and fulfill my dreams, to conquer a new and foreign country, learn the English language, find work and rediscover my art. It felt like a miracle when I won a green card in the green card lottery. In 2006, I moved to Tiburon, California and worked as a chauffeur. I rented a studio embraced the challenges and began to paint. It was exciting to organize the festive public unveiling of my portrait, the harmonica player.
Ingrid had asked me, uh, I, I'm mellow and I'm known as the harmonica player since Ingrid did this uh, painting of me and uh, she wanted me to remind her how it happened. I was at a 90th birthday party at the Yacht Club, San Francisco Yacht Club, and uh, Ingrid took a, this photograph of me. And uh, then she called me later and she said, do you mind if I paint that? It reminds me of some of the mariners uh, in uh, Kiel. So uh, I said, no, go ahead and uh, paint it. Then when I saw what a good job she'd done, I said, I have to have it. So we converted it into a commission piece. That it now hangs in my living room. The beautiful and sacred Mount Tamapais is present for me daily in Marin. It is named after the Miwok Indian for Coastal Mountain, and I wanted to depict it in a painting entitled Father and Son, which won the Marine Magazine cover contest.